Welcome to the new normal way of life starring Adrian Kiwis. Guys, thank you guys so much for joining. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. And if you're new, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let me know uh, your name and where, what state you at, where you are in the world. And just so I can help you out and information to be help you out or if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and let me know what you guys' thoughts. Today, this is about is it safe to go to work? When is it safe to go to work? Can I go in the office? Uh, you know, I think a lot of that depends on where you are located and sort of what uh, things that they are doing to making sure that your workspace is clean. And I know a lot of places, you know, it's just like got to go in the office and that's, you know, got to go in there, whether it's hands on or just something that you have to be in the office. I think a couple things tips that you can guys can do, you know, bring hand, hand sanitizer going into the office. Uh, a mask, and I think some of this is like have two masks, have a hand sanitizer at your desk or you know in your purse or in your car, and also perhaps gloves, you know, disposable gloves is one of the things to that you can have on you, have at the office, to making sure, and also some wipes to making sure wiping the area, you know, but just to give you guys a barometer on you know, where we are at and kind of just looking towards the future. And that's kind of what this channel is about. It's kind of looking towards the future and just client, uh, planning ahead and just realizing what the future holds and, you know, how our work habits are going to slightly change, you know. So just to give a barometer, Twitter, eBay, Amazon, Google, and Microsoft have all announced to continue staying home and working from there and for most of those it's for the next three months until September so just to give you guys a sort of barometer these are some of the biggest corporations in the world and they have the largest offices with the largest employees and they're telling their workers to stay home and work so what does that mean that means that some of these people in the higher-ups they have a higher insight than a lot of these people that are smaller businesses and but they also it's a larger workspace and they deal with more people and it's just one of those things where they're weighing it out that bringing everybody in and, and taking all the protocol to you know clean everything and constantly wipe down everything the cost it would be too much so just having them stay at home and I think that's kind of what they're leaning towards you know instead of trying to fight corona and you know covid and all this stuff and, and fight it every day at the office and you know if someone gets you know infected you know it can spread that's sort of, instead of trying to deal with that they're just making everybody stay home uh, until you know at least september so you know a couple of things for that if that's the case you know that's something to keep in mind for where you are if you're needing a job if you're looking to apply to jobs or you know you are already working from home is that kind of thinking especially for this last couple of months we've already established that working from home so one a couple of tips for you to kind of transition to create your habit from working from home is to set aside an area in your place you know whether it's just a small apartment or a house and everything that's specifically for your work area and another thing too is uh, you know, a lot of these people, you're going to be on more Zoom chats, you know, web chats or things, or getting a ring light, making sure that your work area is well lit and being able to have a nice background also, most likely because you could be doing meetings that will be over Zoom if you haven't already or will be doing it. And, uh, you know, just a nice desk area and also just, you know, for psychology of it, it's good to still get ready for work and, you know, going to your area, getting dressed up to go into work. <laughs> Whether it's still your place of location that you are at, um, at your place. Also too, you know, that you're still working from home, you're changing your habits, you know, so you aren't driving into work, you aren't, you know, 
driving in, taking that extra hour there, extra back. So also fill those areas up. You know, don't just spread out your time, those hour times and using it just, you know, to drag yourselves in to get to that point. You know, you have two extra hours, you know, amounts of times that you can also use wisely, whether it's, you know, fitness, working out, learning a new skill, but also too, keep in mind from your work, your work hours. You know, when you were at work, you had certain hours set up. Make sure you keep those hours if you're doing a stay at home uh, work, you know, thing. So it's like, make sure you keep those. I'm taking a break, keeping it, you know, taking my lunch, that sort of thing. Keep those hours because as your psychology, as you're staying home and working from home, your psychology is going to change and you, you got to make sure that you're not, you know, slouching down and getting tired. You got to make sure you keep that you know, that energy up for your workspace, but also hard outs, you know, make sure that even though you're at home and you can just like literally walk to your desk, make it a hard in, hard out. I'm at work, this is my work. You know, you don't wanna blur work and, you know, your home life. So for people that are still new to working from home, you know, it's kind of setting boundaries for your work life and just keeping it, that's why, it's good to set an area just for your work. You know, this is it, this is my work area. I'm in, I'm out, hard in, hard out. So that's, uh, so recap, you know, it's kind of a barometer of just like a lot of these major companies are still gonna be working from home. So that's something to keep in mind. Also too, for people that are unemployed, still looking for a job, know that a lot of these companies, I know for a fact a lot of these companies are still doing interviews and they're still hiring people. So, it even more so to get a, you know, ring light and a nice camera and make yourself presentable for these hirings because you're going to be doing a lot of Zoom interviews and web chats, you know, so making sure that you look presentable and your background looks presentable also. So a couple of things just that's uh, a couple of things that I saw and learned and um, want to educate you guys just on is it safe to go back to work? you know, where are we at, we're going back to work. So I hope some of that was informational and helped you guys out and just kind of your thought process of the future and where we are at as far as just society and a business culture and everything. So let me know your thoughts, go ahead and comment below. Make sure you guys subscribe. My name is Adrian Kiwis and this is the new normal way of life. Peace.